Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. The King of Swords is someone who is professional, um, not the most emotional person, someone who can typically be quite diplomatic. Okay, this is someone who um, is very logical. The King of Swords is someone who does things um, from a place of logic. So when they make a decision, typically it's a final decision. This, this person is very confident with their decision making. This could be you or someone else, okay? The King of Swords usually can speak of someone who could be like a someone in law enforcement or like in I mean this this person could be an advocate, they could be an activist, but again, this person does not lead with their emotions. And then we have the King of Wands here which is someone who's very focused, very driven. This is an action taker. Um, the King of Wands is someone who is ambitious and assertive. They can take action. They can also be a hothead. I really don't know exactly what this is. It's a, a really big energy that I'm picking up here, especially because I have three kings, okay? I don't know if these three kings, if this is one person or if this is multiple people. But the wheel is turning and the wheel here, this card says Archangel Michael. So you have a King of Swords, King of Wands person. This could be two people, whatever. But Archangel Michael is coming in. For some of you, this is one person. For some of you, you've had a person who has made a decision. They're motivated. They're taking action. They're extremely focused. With the things that are happening right now, um, astrologically and energetically, some of you are going to become a bit afraid of a person detaching or if you find yourself suddenly wanting to detach. We did just have a full moon in Aquarius last week, but in this retrograde season right now, and although we're in Leo season, we're about to go into Virgo season, I think next week. People are already starting to um, take action. So this is a masculine, I feel, who is for sure making a major change in their professional life. The King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, that's a very practical and professional type of person. This King of Wands energy is here in Leo season. This person is now choosing to take action. They're acting on some type of vision that they have for their life, for their future. And Archangel Michael is assisting this person so that they can actually have more of a... Uh, th th this person needs a practical plan. So they have an idea. They're passionate. They have the, you know... Yeah, they're motivated, but but they need, this person may need, or this is you, however it resonates. Somebody needs a plan and they need money for something to be successful. And it looks like they're about to get it. The Ace of Pentacles. This is good. Okay. Now, I will say this is something that could be happening with the number 10 being the wheel here. And the King of Swords coming out first. This person could have Libra heavily aspected in their chart or something is significant about a legal situation, Libra season, but some, someone is receiving justice. The wheel is going to turn. This person is about to receive some type of help or assistance. This is going to be good. I'm going to say if you are not this, this is a divine masculine. If you're dealing with this person, they may be detached right now. This person is about to have a major breakthrough, especially in their professional life the ace of pentacles is that some type of abundance is coming in archangel michael is about to give someone a big break okay the page of cups is here and then the four of cups so again this is like this is a, a relationship that is in its early stages somebody could be having some type of psychic download but page of cups is also creativity and then the four of pentacles I feel like right now, to be honest, 
someone feels rejected by someone because they're very focused on their life. And then you have the release card here and the nine of wands. This paranoia and fear that you may be dealing with right now when it comes to this person or this situation, I would recommend that if this is your story, this is a very specific message that you release this. I feel like someone here is being pessimistic. You are assuming the worst in a situation. Somebody here is just working really hard. Someone is working really hard. Yeah, six of six of swords to move on a peaceful calmer waters in the chariot. Somebody is working hard to be able to move into a season of their personal life where they have wish fulfillment. You need to understand that this is your situation. A person cannot give you wish fulfillment if they don't have it for themselves. A person who does not have love for self, who does not have stability and security for themselves, they cannot offer it to you. And someone's Someone is being triggered by some uh, the circumstances or conditions of this situation. This person is about to work very, very hard. The King of Swords is now here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Someone has a very bright, brilliant idea of how they're going to move forward towards wish fulfillment. The only thing they need, like I said, is some type of resources. The Page of Swords and then the Six of Cups. Page of Swords is coming underneath the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is curious about an offer of stability here. The Six of Cups. This is someone from the past. Someone from the past. Because the Six of Cups is clarifying the Page of Cups. Someone from the past could be trying to... re-enter someone's life we are in the pre-shadow phase of mercury retrograde there's a lot of confusion and illusions here somebody here thinks that a person is possibly interested in their past i do feel like the past is trying to come back to distract either you or this person but somebody is really only focused on money you don't need to allow yourself right now to be in this nine of wands energy of feeling like you need to somebody fears that they're going to miss an opportunity like they're either they're going to be released or they're going to have to release someone that they like because you are afraid of someone from their past coming back whoever this person is they're not concerned with their past this person is concerned about moving on to peaceful calmer waters the eight of wands is here yeah and then the justice card justice with release and then the four of, of cups is being clarified with the eight of wands so if you feel like there is a missed opportunity, it's not. Something is about to change and it's going to move at a very rapid pace. If you've been detached or delayed in any way, that's about to change here. You've already planted seeds in a, a situation, a connection, or whatever. Your ego, your fear of something not working out, your fear of rejection and being left out in the cold is the only thing that's blocking you right now. If it's not you, this is how someone feels about you. But you have here the three of pentacles. Somebody is wanting to come in and work with you. They want to come in and build and work with you. They want to create something very prosperous and abundant with you. But you have here the nine of swords, the ten of swords. Wow. This is just this is just nothing but fear. That's it. This is honestly just sitting around expecting the absolute worst to happen. Whatever this is, if you resonate with this so far... This, you need to get out of your head, like, right away. The renewal, yeah. <laughs> Judgment and the Empress. Someone has already decided to, that they want you. The Knight of Cups. This person is. This person has decided that they want to fight for you in this connection. Therefore, the Ten of Wands here and the tower they're putting an end to anything that may be prohibiting them from offering you the life that they know you deserve you think this person is sneaking around they're not five of, of cups you're not seeing that this person is actually being the king of swords they're being very noble right now and trying to this person is revising 
their plans and making changes in their life. You feel like somebody here is sneaking around being deceptive? No, this person has a real plan and a strategy. They're coming up with a practical plan to ensure that the two of you can move forward in, uni in unison because what they want is unity. Unity is also the hierophant. This is someone who wants a very traditional type of connection with you. They're trying to make sure that the two of you are equally yoked. But right now they're juggling. They're juggling, but there's two of pentacles. Juggling is going to lead to the ten of pentacles. Somebody here is about to really get a hump in their back. They're about to hustle so hard to make sure that they can come out of some kind of mental imprisonment because the truth is they want to celebrate with you. This person wants to be the king of cups. Right now, they're the king of swords, king of wands, king of, they're becoming the king of pentacles and eventually their emotions will come back in. This part, this is someone who is stressed out right now about things happening in their life that most likely has nothing to do with you. But this is coming to an end. This stalemate stuck in energy is coming to an end. There's going to be a very clear breakthrough with the Ace of Swords here. This person is already making a decision to heal. The Three of Swords is here. They want to heal something. But this person has also made a decision to just simply heal themselves. So you guys could be connected to or you're about to connect with someone. This person is trying to overcome some type of breakup um financial loss or something like that they're extremely focused right now on getting peace balance and harmony back in their lives but i guarantee you this person wants to share their life their world with you they're trying to make sure that the life that they create and they share with you that it's safe ace of cups this person can't really think about emotions right now when things in their life are still needing to be balanced out a lot of you you're already the queen of wands you're confident um you're intelligent like you you probably are already established this person wants to make sure that things are balanced they want to bring look the sun the nine of pentacles the ace of wands oh my gosh the ten of cups the strength and the three of wands you can depend on this you you can for sure count on this beautiful offer to come in this is someone's message today if you're wondering, yes. If you ask them, yes, they're ready. Maybe not today, but they're getting ready. In their heart, they've chosen you. They're trying to make sure that they can give you the life. This is someone who wants something traditional. This is a this is for sure like a man. They want to protect. They want to provide. I feel like you're already the queen of wands. You're already passionate about your life and you have your goals you know queen of wands is very confident very intelligent you're a powerful manifester this person right now they're a king of wands they're passionate about something but they still haven't quite gotten like grounded this person is working on stability and security because they want you to be able to enjoy a soft like luxurious life this person really wants you to have a good life so with the strength card here, you're needing to have the strength to have faith that something good is coming in with the three of wands because what's coming in is a passionate new beginning with the ten of cups. And for some of you, you need to be careful because whoever, whatever this little past situation is that's trying to creep in, there's an energy here that wants you to think that something is not going to work out for you. You could even have, uh, this could be a friend, family member, or someone even in your life that's trying to get you to believe that a person is not for you or, you know, a, a situation does not really have um, this great potential, but it does. You don't need to let anyone get in your head and you don't need to block yourself because there's a lot of pessimism and fear of something not turning out the way that you want because it's moving slow. This connection is moving slowly right now because someone is trying to do this the right way. I know that everyone gets so accustomed to the, the very negative readings and everybody is not here to, to lie, to cheat, rob, steal, kill, and destroy. Some people have already been through that and now they're in a stage of rebuilding 
and they actually want to come in and give you everything that you deserve and that you desire. This particular masculine energy has been coming out a lot. They, they're they hidden behind this very karmic energy that is still present. But this person is beginning to really show themselves in these readings. Somebody is trying to come in and let you know. They may not have everything together. They may not be perfect. But they're well on their way. And anything that this person gets is yours. This person's intentions for you is so pure. Yeah, the high priestess. You can trust this. This is you listening to your intuition, but the high priestess is patient. High priestess, queen of, of cups. Yeah, and then the dreamer, the fool. You just have to take a leap of faith here. This person is loyal. They're dedicated. They're committed. Knight of Pentacles. They do move slowly. But when they come to you, they're coming towards you with a very serious relationship. They're not ooh, four of wands. Yeah, this person, they see you as the one that they're going to have victory and success with. You're 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 everything that they dreamed of. Seven of cups, four of pentacles. You're everything that they dreamed of and they are not letting you go. This person is being very cautious right now because they do not want to lose you. The fear of losing you is driving this person to be much more outgoing, more confident. Um, this person is literally making improvements in their life because they're going through a spiritual awakening. And they want to make sure that in the end, whenever they get through whatever they're going through, you're the prize that they want. This person sees you as a prize. And the amazing thing about it. There's so many of you have so many of you have experienced situations where you were overcompensating and you've been taken advantage of. This person never wants you to feel like you're being taken advantage of. A lot of you have been the prize, but you've been treated like a peasant. This person wants you to know that you're the prize. They're going through an awakening. But as you witness this person going through an awakening, your perspective on things is going to change too. You're eventually, you're going to start to see love, commitment very differently. Some of you, you want something traditional. You want this kingdom marriage. A kingdom marriage is to glorify God. The, the relationship is not just about you and this person. It is to glorify God and God's kingdom. Therefore, the blessings that are going to come, there's blessings that come from you and this person being in covenant with one another. But if you're quick to always think the worst that this person is going to do you like someone else did you and hurt you or betray you or whatever, you're not going to get this. You have to think too, if you want to truly be in a divine partnership, it will have its ups and downs and you don't get to control. If you, if you meet a person, you don't know if they're going to be up or down, but if you're committing yourself to someone, that means that you're there with you you're rocking with them, whether they're up or down. Some people start out down and they grow. Some people start out with everything and they lose everything and they, and they have to rebuild. A real connection is going to have ups and downs. Some of you, because of, of a, a separation, a pause, a, a little bit of a detachment while somebody is focusing on themselves and you're not the, the absolute, like the center of their attention 24 seven, you can't let that scare you. This is going to teach you about your own independence because a lot of people say they're the queen of wands. They, they well, they're so independent but they're still codependent traits because the minute you feel detachment you feel like you're going to be rejected and abandoned this person doesn't want to reject you or abandon you this person wants to hustle to give you a better life so you should let this person go and build something better for themselves because that means that they're going to have something better to offer you you don't have to try to put this person in any kind of chokehold. They don't need to hurt you. 
you it's whoever this is, you've already captured the heart of this person. You're you're what they dreamed of. They're not the four pinnacles, they're not letting you go. This person is very stingy about you. But I'll be honest, before this person ruins you, before they hurt you, like people in your past have hurt you, they will let you go. Because you're dealing with a king of swords. You're dealing with someone who's diplomatic. They're noble. This person, they consider everything. They don't just consider the logical side of things, but they con consider your emotions too. But they don't lead with emotions. If you can see the gradual change of the evolution of this person, the king of swords, they get the idea. They get passionate about a king of wands. This person will eventually become more of a protector, a provider. They're going to become more generous. When this person feels like they can truly be responsible for you and, and have a, a stable relationship where abundance is coming in freely and maybe they built their business or whatever, that's when they this person over time is going to become the king of cups. They, they will eventually get much more comfortable with letting their guard down and being emotionally open, available, and more vulnerable with you when certain things in their life is a bit more put together. In a way, you intimidate this person. They, they're afraid of losing you because something here about the situation is a little bit off. That's all. But this person, they'll choose you every time. They, they're they willing to take any type of leap of faith that's necessary for them to be with you. And they're taking a huge leap of faith in their life right now. To give you, to have a better life because they want to make sure that you have a better life. Wow. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Maybe try try trusting somebody. <laughs> try trusting a person and being positive and optimistic. Admitting that you're passionate about this person. It says this friendship is leading to more. Speak up and say you're passionate about this person. They may not be able to give you all that you deserve right now. But it's nothing wrong with you admitting This person is teaching you about forgiveness. You're going to have to forgive yourself and the people in your past who hurt you. Right now is a time for you to take more time for yourself for self-care. You really need to focus on yourself and let this person focus on themselves, honestly. Financial challenges are affecting this relationship. That's what it is. This person and you are not quite um, equally yoked financially. But they're teaching you a lesson that maybe they'll teach you that money is not everything. Something that you placed a lot of value on, that you idolized, you're going to find through dealing with this person, for some of you, that what you once thought was so important is really not that important. Money is not that important when you think about um, true love and quality time. Some of you, you want quality time. You want a, a, a healing type of love where there is passion and you want to have a friendship with someone. It's hard to have that type of peace and balance when there is financial challenges. But some of you, you will also have those same challenges even if someone was wealthy because they still may not express that they're passionate about having a friendship with you getting to know you they're not passionate about perhaps healing childhood wounds or you know family issues they may be very self-centered so you now are going to have to decide what is truly important to you and this situation is is going to teach you patience Because while this person is evolving, 
you're going to have to learn how to still have hope in the future, but not control the situation. You can't control this person or this situation. Because I'm going to tell you, whatever this person's circumstances and conditions are right now, this is a divine being. You, you can't treat this person like they don't matter. <laughs> this relationship deserves a second chance. The reason why is because right now, you and someone, you may have to separate. But this is something that will come back around. And, and it'll be the way it's supposed to be. Right now, you need to just accept the situation for what it is. And you can't be afraid to let it go. And you shouldn't try to overcompensate. Don't allow this situation to be in balance. Don't allow this situation to be one where you're overgiving because you are afraid to lose this person. Because if you do that, you're going to regret that. This person is learning a lesson and so are you. This person has to learn how to execute plans and make decisions and build something. It's going to make them proud of who they are to know that they built something for themselves that they can share with you. And you're going to learn a lesson that you can't control everything and everyone. Even if you're very stable right now, you can't control the narrative of this story. You're going to have to just allow it to unfold naturally. <laughs> Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows. Yeah, you've already done what you needed to do. The attraction that you and this person feel is mutual, but there is an interference here. And you and this person, you may need some distance between the two of you. Some of you, the, the interference could be friends, family, and finances. But this person is coming back in to recommit themselves to you because they want to marry you. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Except that, yeah, there are obstacles in this situation right now, but it's protected. This person is your soulmate. They love, accept, and respect you unconditionally. This is not someone toxic, okay? This is not a toxic, narcissistic ex-lover who is trying to make you wait, you know, while they live their life with someone else. No, this is someone who knows for a sure fact that you're the one for them and they are for you. But they know that they wake up and they go to bed every single day trying to figure out how can they be the absolute best for you because they know that's what you deserve. And to them, they feel like you're the best. They know they deserve and desire you. They don't want you to. They don't want the two of you. This person wants to build a legacy. They don't want you to struggle. So if they have any kind of baggage or burdens, this person is they're willing to separate themselves from you to do the work. But you, the problem is, is that so many people have unhealed wounds. And so many childhood triggers and issues that when a person comes into your life to do you the right way, you become so triggered and so afraid of being rejected and abandoned that you will run from this type of person or you will run them away from you. Don't allow your fear of abandonment and rejection to push this person away. Some people empaths especially who are used to narcissists love bombing them when you meet a person that has self-worth and value and they're not love bombing you and they know how to take time out for self-care and to work on themselves it can be triggering to you some of you need to not be so quick to feel like you're being left out in the cold this person wants to be a provider they're passionate about being a provider spirit said right now you need to just wait let it flow Okay, just wait, trust the process, let this situation flow and unfold naturally. The universe has your back. This person is very, very passionate about having a family and being a real protector and a provider. Look, family, again, two cards out here that say family. But look at this extroverted. This person is trying to go out in the world and redeem themselves. Coming very soon, it's going to be a new start. 
just let go. Let go of the deception and the heartbreak of your past that's causing you to feel like this situation won't work out. This is going to work out. But this person needs to make a, a, a place and a name for themselves. It, it's like you need to let this person make a name for themselves before you take their last name. That's how they feel. This person wants to have so much pride in their ability to give you the best life. You need to let them first become very proud of themselves. Or this could be you. Maybe it's both of you. Don't be afraid to be the best version of yourself before you decide that you want to try to give someone the best of you. Romance. This person wants to wine and dine you. They want you to be able to relax. This is you, you, some of you, you're friends with this person. Here's two cards that say friendship. Friendly relationship. You and this person are very close. You're healing together, though. You're raising your vibration. It's a past life connection that has unconditional love. Spirit is saying, here, look at this person as if they are you. This person wants to be a better version of themselves, just like you once wanted to be better. You and this person can compromise. You're going to make this work. They're coming back to you, but do not allow the, the narcissistic abuse to take control of you. Some of you are so used to people being narcs and abusive that when healthy love comes in, it scares you. When a person is in your life and they're not trying to run, they don't have to love bomb you. They don't have to be with you 24-7. This is about life partnership. People who are married, they don't like each other all the time. It's nothing wrong with you and this person still having your individual lives. And there's something in your life and in this person's life that needs to be improved. And you can't always do, you know, you, you can't absolutely heal with another person, but you and this person, I, I don't think I'm talking to someone right now who is married. But even if you are watching this reading and you're married, focus on the friendship in your relationship. Maybe this person doesn't need you to show up as their partner right now. They need you to show up as their friend because someone is trying to find what they're passionate about in life. Somebody could be having a midlife crisis. They, they're trying to heal something so that they can go to the next level. So ask yourself, how can you be of assistance to this person? Ego versus self, see? And here's unexpected news. Wow, tough conversations. Power couple, divine flame. I'm telling you, this is just a rough, you and this person, it's, it's some stuff coming up. Somebody is, is finding that they're passionate about something. This may be... Someone wants to change their job. Someone may want to relocate. There's conversations coming up because you and someone, ex unexpected news is coming. There could be like an unplanned pregnancy. There's all kinds of stuff that's happening. And you're being tested right now. You, this power couple, divine flame, you and this person are being tested. Spirit is trying to figure out how exactly can you handle drama. How can you handle drama? But this is a yin and yang type of energy. But yeah, this person is falling in love with you or they've already fallen in love with you. Tough conversations is when you have to say, hey, I don't I don't know how to I don't really know how to compromise. I, I'm not the best at communicating. But trying to avoid having the control issues is so important because if you try to control this situation or you overreact, you're going to add fuel to the fire. There's always already some type of drama here because of some kind of unexpected news. I'm definitely getting where someone there's financial issues. Someone could have lost a job. Someone could be, you know, considering going back to school. Someone's job may be saying that they need to relocate or 
you know, they have to travel more. Just real life situations here. There is a, there's something externally that's putting a strain on your relationship with someone. But this person is like your other half. So in the midst of all this drama, this may be a reminder that why don't you take a bit of time to try to find something that is pleasurable to you and this person to escape some of this drama instead of feeding into it more. Yeah, devotion. This person is devoted to you. This is your, your dedicated partner who has unconditional love. They will do whatever it takes. And right now, what they need is emotional support because they're going through a spiritual awakening. Okay? You may be annoyed by the fact that this person is going through a spiritual awakening because right now they're dealing with their own inner fears. But their spiritual awakening is triggering you. as You're going through a spiritual awakening as well because I feel like someone here is being is is very offended by the fact <laughs> that someone is taking time out for themselves but very soon something here is going to change this is a very mature seasoned like relationship it's a vibe it's here so very soon this this time of there being drama or you feeling annoyed or someone's inner fears being triggered that's gonna pass like yeah this is a past life connection it's unconditional love this person they don't mind listening to you or maybe you need to try to listen to this person and just sit back and reflect Allow yourself to listen and then you and this person have a telepathic bond as well. They're telepathically communicating with you, letting you know that they love you at first sight. They're falling in love with you, but <laughs> they're going through some things. They're still a person. This person is still human. Aww. Yeah, but with patience, this person is going to reconcile with you. They see you as their soulmate, and they may definitely want to have children with you. But this person is looking, thinking, well, hey, if we're going to have children and everything else, I need to be a protector. I need to be a provider. I need to make sure that my soulmate is okay. I need to make sure that the kids that we have is okay. This person is trying to master a spiritual lesson, and so are you. Wait. The timing is not quite right. You already know the answer that you seek. You're going through an awakening. It says both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. <laughs> Twin flame. I'm going to leave it there. This is a divine counterpart connection. Beautiful. I hope that this resonated. <laughs> this is truly amazing. Support. This is a past life love. And you need to ask yourself... Does this align with your morals, your values? Okay. Something here you're being warned against. And I think that it's don't rush this connection because it brings stability. It can stand the test of time. You don't have to rush something that's already meant to be. Because this is something that is aligned with your, your life purpose, your soul mission. But you just, you have to take the lessons with it as well. You have to know if you're going to be, have a lifetime with this person, you've already had a lifetime with them. There's lessons here. Patience is needed. Healing is needed. Changes to the finances are, are, are needed at this time. You, something in your life has to change in order for this connection to go to the next level. If this person is a little bit detached, it's only because they're trying to do better. They're not trying to hurt you. They're not trying to leave you. They're not your past. They're not your parents. They're, they're not bad. You can trust this person 100%. This is a twin flame connection that's leading to marriage. It's a sacred union. Yin and yang, twin flame. 
get through this drama together. I hope that this message encourages those of you who are, you know, in love. <laughs> you 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 got this, okay?